Hello, my name is Lori Elke. I'm an artist and art teacher, and I today decided to illustrate a Bible verse. This one comes from Psalm 46, verse 5. God is within her, she will not fall. Such a, a comforting passage to have posted maybe somewhere in your home. So as you can see around this passage, I added some beautiful yellow and pink flowers along with some greenery in between to make a nice like spring looking wreath. And um, this is really a fun one. I find these very relaxing and calming to paint. It's a good art therapy uh, to work on these. So hopefully you enjoy doing these as well. Have fun with it and let your own uh, creativity shine through whatever you paint. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Uh, and yeah, then you'll be notified when I put more videos up on my channel. I'm starting off with some yellow petals and I'm trying to pick areas that have a little bit more space, which is usually kind of the corner area. And so I've decided that my bottom left corner is gonna be kind of my main focal point. And then I'm gonna work out from there. So you can see my biggest flowers in my corner and these other yellow flowers are a little bit smaller and just kind of spread out around the words. You can really do as many or as few flowers as you want. You could just have one big yellow flower or you could have, you know, eight to 10, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna kind of fill in a couple here and there and I may even go in and add a couple more later as I work. I am leaving the centers open. I will fill those in later. Now I'm moving to like a reddish pink color and it's kind of more of like a, like a rose red and I wanted to really make a nice good sized flower in my focal area and then again just some smaller flowers in the rest of my wreath. doesn't matter if my flowers are pretty light right away I can always go in and add another layer to make them darker now that I've got kind of my main flowers going I usually kind of accentuate the flowers by adding some larger leaves right next to the flowers that I painted so you can see I'm using kind of a sage green color to add some larger leaves right next to my focal point first and then I will kind of add a couple of them around some of my smaller flowers as well. And I usually kind of pick a spot in between two petals and then add the leaves in there. And they don't have to touch. Right now they're just kind of floating, but people will get the idea that they're connected even if they aren't actually touching each other. Every once in a while I'll add two leaves instead of one just to kind of vary it. Now I'm using a lighter green and I'm trying to make um, my leaves a little bit longer and a little bit skinnier on these branches. Um, usually this is a really nice filler, so I'm looking for spaces that don't really have anything and I'm filling them in with this light green color. I'm using a light green and then I'm mixing it with a little bit more water so it's pretty light. And then just kind of filling in some of the extra spaces to kind of close up my wreath. I decided that I want a little bit more color on my wreath, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some centers to these flowers here, the pink ones, and a couple of lines just to give them more interest. The flowers were so light that I decided they needed to be a little bit brighter, more vibrant. So I'm going in with more of a magenta color, pretty dark in the center, and then adding some lines around the outside. And then while I'm in this color, I'm adding some berries around my wreath. Um, berries, which are basically just a little clusters of dots, are also great ways to fill up a wreath um, if there's any like open spaces around. I usually just do them in small clusters of one, two, or three, usually choosing odd numbers because that seems to be more appealing in art. Notice too, my berries are not really touching anything. They're just kind of floating. I will add little stems later to kind of make them look like they're connected to something. 
One of my rules when I do wreaths is to try to have like a light, a medium, and a dark with greenery. So I have my really light, big leaves, and then I've got kind of my medium, medium-sized leaves. And now I'm going in and adding some really dark, small leaves. And I'm kind of working out from the flowers and just adding these little leaves with my brush. The entire time I've been using a size six brush, it's a round brush, and I really like it for making leaves because you can see I just have to really touch each leaf once and I can move on and it gives me kind of a nice little leaf shape. So these again are a, a good way to add some filler and just a way for me to kind of thicken up parts of my wreath that were looking a little bit thin before. All right, now I'm going in with a sage green and I'm adding centers to my yellow flowers. And again, I'm just doing those with like little dots. And I've decided that my wreath could use a little bit more yellow because yellow is just such a cheerful color. So I'm going in with some of that golden yellow and I'm throwing in just a couple of smaller flowers, maybe aren't always straight on. And just to kind of give a little bit of extra color to my wreath and a little bit of extra fullness as well. I'm also adding a couple more leaves because I felt like it wasn't quite full enough yet. And I mean, you can just kind of gradually add one thing after another until you feel like it's full enough to your liking. Next, I've switched to a smaller brush. This is a size one, it's real little. And I'm going in with a pretty watery brown and adding some kind of branch-like structure to my wreath. I always like this because it, it adds a different texture. You have all these soft like petals and leaves and this kind of gives it a different texture. Um, this also is a good way to connect the little berries to the rest of the wreath. So I usually do some real little lines that look like um, they go out to the berries to make them more connected. While I have this little brush, I'm also gonna add a little bit of detail to my yellow flowers, just by making some darker lines that come from the center and work their way out to give a little bit of shading to those petals. I'm using a little bit of a yellow mixed with yellow ochre, which is kind of more of a golden yellow. I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more of the magenta to the center of my pink flowers just to make them a little bit darker. So they look like they're receding. And then the same thing with the yellow. I wanna add a little bit of darkness to the, the green parts of the yellow flowers too. I'm also adding some veins on some of the larger leaves just to give them a little bit more detail. It's optional if you just want to leave them you can too. I don't do it on every single leaf like I don't mess with the real little leaves but if it's a larger leaf then sometimes I like to add the veins. So yeah just keep adding and tweaking until you're happy with how your wreath turns out and when you think it's full enough then sign your name and call it a masterpiece. <laughs>